Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build an online store and add it to any website you want using Printify, which is a print-on-demand service, and FitPrint. So let's get started. Say you have a business or you're an influencer on social media and you're trying to sell some products. Um, this is the easiest way to get started selling print-on-demand products where you don't have to carry any inventory. So um, I'm going to create an account with Printify. Let's just make up an email. I am an influencer. One, two, three, four, five, six at gmail.com. Okay. Not a robot. I'm going to copy this email so I have it. Sure, save. Okay, now we're in Printify. You can see Printify has a ton of different products you can create. All you need to do is update and uh, upload your logos, and you can choose from t-shirts, hoodies, uh, phone cases, all kinds of things to add. So we're going to need a logo or something to put on all these products. So let's head over to another free service, Adobe, uh, what is it, Logo Maker? Okay. I'm going to kind of run through all this stuff pretty fast, but you can always pause the video. Uh, what is it? I'll have uh, links to everything in the uh, notes down below. What is this? I don't know. Adobe. Oh, there we are. Okay. So, Okay, so the logo maker will give you options. You can say, my, let's see, I'm an influencer, right? So my influencer business is called I'm an influencer. All right. You can add a slogan if you want and then choose the style. These are going to spit out random logos for you to use. So we'll start with bold, click next. Then they give you a bunch of different icons. Um, you can choose from for your logos. Uh, this one of the selfie looks pretty good, so let's go with that. And now you can just scroll through and look for one that looks good to you. I'm just going to grab that one. And then you go ahead and download it, and it's going to give you an entire package with uh, PNGs and everything you need to get started. So uh, you can see you got the black, the white, and the colored. So, using this, we can now go in and design some products in our Printify store. So, I'm going to go in and start with just some t-shirts. Okay, we'll make some men's, let's see, the tri-blend is always a nice, um, nice t-shirt, good quality. You can choose through different print providers. They all have different prices and shipping times, so I'll, I'll go with Monster Digital. Go ahead and add our design. Um, you can upload from your device, so I'm going to take this transparent logo, and you can see place it where you want, and you can always look at a preview to see how it looks. Oh, all right, that looks like a great t-shirt. Um, you can choose and add any colors you want. So let's just add a ton of different colors. But you can see, you know, your black and all these other colors, you may want the white logo instead. So they have a different way to do that. You can add this white logo. So let's go ahead and upload our white logo. Um, we'll want to position that one. Just about the same. You can always get the width and height and everything to get it to be exact. So we'll say 4.25 for both of them, right? No, 4.25. There we go. 
All right, and then for the white design, you're gonna want the um, black logo to show. So you're just gonna click make a specific design for Heather White, and then you're gonna delete the black logo. Oh, I'm sorry, I want that the other way around. You're gonna wanna delete the white logo. So you have the black logo there, and then on all the other ones, you're gonna want the white logo, maybe this one, it's up to you. So on all these, we're just gonna delete the black logo. So there we go. Now we have a t-shirt, looks great. Looks great in the preview. Go ahead and save it. Okay, and then we're just gonna add a few more products just to get the store going. So let's add a women's t-shirt. They have unisex t-shirts, they got everything, tie-dye. Uh, we'll do another tri-blend. It's always good to try to use the same print providers because you can save on shipping for your customers once you do that. So I'm gonna stick with Monster Digital again. Add the designs. Now that we've uploaded the photos, they're just here in our My Library section. So I'm gonna drop in the white logo. Again, we can't see it until we start looking at the other colors. And then we're going to position that how we want it. T-shirts usually you want to line up the collar and then the bottom of the sleeve. So we're just going to kind of throw it somewhere there. It's always good to order a sample before you start selling your products. And then for this one, we're going to make a specific design using the black logo, right? So again, you can spend more time designing exactly how you want them to look, but for this demo, I just kind of want to run through everything. Oh, uh, we'll make it a little bigger. All right, these are looking good. They even give you some models sometimes if you want to use those to see how it looks when that person's wearing it. So let's go ahead and save that product. So in addition to t-shirts, right, we've got um, accessories, mugs, coffee mugs are always a fun one to do. Um, you can sort by lowest price if you just want to get some products up for your customers to buy. So I'm going to start designing this coffee mug. Whoa, let's add this in there, right? One on that side. Duplicate it. One over here. Let's check it out in the preview. They've got centering tools too, so you can make sure things are centered. We're going to go ahead and preview that one. Okay, that's looking good. Cool. All right, we've got a few of those. I'm just gonna speed through and add a few more just to fill out the store. Okay, now that we have some products added, we're gonna show you how to set this up and start selling <clears throat> your products. Printify doesn't offer a way for you to sell products from within here, so that's why you need to connect it to something else. They have a connections menu that will give you the ability to connect it to certain things like Shopify, Etsy, Squarespace. If you have any of these, that's great. And if you don't, um, Fitprint offers a free solution to get a store up and running that you can drop into any website you want. So that's what we're gonna create our store with. So first, let's go ahead and create our Fitprint account. So we go to fitprint.io, create my store. It's gonna ask you to create an account. I'm gonna use the same password. 
or the same email that I created on Printify. <clears throat> I'm gonna call it Influ. Oops, in or I am an influencer. One, two, three, four. Okay. This is your website URL. This is where you're going to get redirected back to after sales are completed. Right now, I don't have a website set up for this yet. Um, you can choose your color. So I think I've been doing that dark blue. You can enter the hex if you have that, but we'll just set that. And then we're going to upload our image. So here's our logo. This is going to set it in a header. You can remove this too if you're going to embed this into a site, which I'll show you a little bit later. Um, then Printify setup. You can click on more info. This is going to give you the walkthrough on how to set everything up. Um, so you're going to need a Printify token, which is going to pull in all your products over here. Hip store connection. There we go. Head over to connections, and this is where you can generate an API token. You're just going to click generate. Call the token fit print. Click generate token, and copy that to our clipboard. So now back in FitPrint, we're going to go ahead and just paste the token there, click Update ID, and we're going to see all the products that we just created in Printify pull over into our FitPrint store. This is the URL that gets generated that you can start using and selling your products on. And it's going to show you how your store looks. You can see all the products, you can log in add it to a cart, things like that. And if we want to stick with that blue color, oh, we got to click the Save Color button, and you can see the shopping cart's going to change color. You can see our buttons and all the headers and everything change to that color. Um, you can add things to a cart. You know, you can update the quantity within the cart. Everything is mobile friendly. It renders nicely on mobile devices when you get smaller. So this is the quickest way to get a store set up for all your customers to buy your products. A few other things to note quickly that I can just run through is adjusting prices and how you're going to make profits on any of these things. So we have this coffee mug for sale for seven dollars and seventy nine cents seventy one cents so let's remove these other products from the cart if I were to go and buy this coffee mug I need to enter my info I'm gonna calculate the shipping and fees on that so Shipping on this product itself is going to cost five dollars and nine cents. So this coffee mug you're trying to sell for seven dollars is actually going to cost the customer fourteen dollars and fifty six cents. So let's go and see what that looks like in our store over here. This single coffee mug. We're going to edit the listing. So I don't want to charge my customers fourteen dollars for a coffee mug, even though I would be making three dollars on each sale. So you can select the product, and you're going to adjust price profit margin so I would like to make maybe 15% on this product okay and that's gonna give it a retail price of five dollars and forty five cents uh, that looks like I'll make eighty two cents so uh, let's change that and say I wanna make one dollar every time I sell a coffee mug so I'm gonna save that product and the other thing you can do it within here is change the title image so I don't like how our logo is not shown there. I'm just going to use this left image one and then just call this coffee mug. And then you click save. Head back over to the Fit Print store. Let's remove that from our cart since we've updated the price. So it was $7.71 with that image. Let's go ahead and refresh. Now it's 563 and we got our new image. So now when I click on this product and go to buy it, add it to the cart. After shipping and fees, 
it's only going to cost our customers $12.33. That's a little more reasonable for a coffee cup in my mind. So you can do the same thing with any of your products. You got phone cases. Um, you can always go in and adjust the prices. So a basic t-shirt, if you want to sell these for roughly $20 to $25, which is pretty much standard on t-shirts these days, you can see how much money you're going to be making. So right now we're selling it for $21, um, but that doesn't factor in the shipping, and you'd be making $8 a t-shirt. So this men's next level tri-blend t-shirt, let's edit the profit margin to say 30%. That's going to make it about $18, so we'll just set the price on this one to $17.99 for another example. So $17.99, I'll be making $4.90 every time I sell a t-shirt. And again, I'm going to have to do nothing. When someone orders this t-shirt, it's going to be printed and shipped directly to the customer. I don't lift a finger, I don't have to buy any product, I don't have to do anything like that. Everything is automated. Customer is going to get emails about shipping information, all that. So let's go go ahead and see how much a T-shirt is going to cost. So we're going to refresh this page. Now we got a T-shirt for $17.99 with our new title image, and you can change the colors. This is how you select all the different colors, different sizes available. Uh, let's go ahead and add one T-shirt to the cart. So I've got a T-shirt for $17.99 after shipping and fees. There we go, we've got a $24.75 t-shirt, which is a reasonable t-shirt to sell. And every time I sell one of these t-shirts, I myself am going to be making $4.90, again, without lifting a finger. So, this is a great way to sell any of your products you want. You can update stores immediately. This link is the one you can share out if you want to have your store just look like this. In the next video, I'm going to go over how to connect this to any website you want, have it embedded, look, make it look like it's been there. So if you already have your website, that's the tactic you're going to want to use. And that is all within this embed URL code. The last thing you're going to need to do before making your shop live is set up your Stripe account. Clicking this configure Stripe button will walk you through that. That's how you're going to collect payments. Again, Stripe accounts are free and it's one of the best, most secure payment transaction portals out there. So feel free to send us an email if you have any questions, leave comments, we'll respond to them down below. Uh, thanks for checking out this video. Like I said, next one up is going to be creating a website and using this embed code.